what if I were to tell you that this famous picture of evolution, okay, how humans evolved, right? We evolved from an uh, ape or a monkey. That's what we uh, evolved from. And this is the picture. You see it starting out with what looks to be like basically a monkey or, you know, some kind of like a, a, a recent kind of ape that may even exist today. And, you know, we continue to just evolve in a straight line, developing just really nice, cleanly in a perfect linear line to being more and more um, intelligent and, you know, capable and that kind of thing. What if I were to tell you that all of that is just completely entirely wrong? Now, this is a really, really horrible picture to depict evolution. Now, I took a biology laboratory class in my um, college. Uh, at community college last year, you have to take a science class to be able to get any major. Um, but, you know, it's a general education requirement. What I learned in there was actual real evolutionary charts. And it's pretty crazy to look at just how different actual <laughs> evolutionary charts are compared to this because they're completely different. And just recently, Herschel Walker said, you know, oh, well, um, if humans evolved from apes, why are there still apes? Now, this is something that even like Tim Allen had said back in 2017. But I'm even more concerned from how stupid that is by the few amount of people that I've really seen really responding to explain um, that kind of thing. Now... There are multiple reasons why this is actually wrong, but the big thing to understand here is the key difference between um, a real evolutionary chart and this one that you see here. So this is a good depiction here of specifically when it comes to humans. So it is true that humans evolved from apes that don't exist anymore, but it's not true that we evolved from currently existing apes like a chimpanzee or a monkey or a gorilla. We didn't evolve from those apes. It was a and we did evolve from an ape that was also a common ancestor of chimpanzees, which a different group of those apes eventually evolved into chimpanzees. But this is a very good basic, like super basic one. I'm going to show you the more complex ones. But this is a basic one, right? You have a common, like a super original origin, common ancestor of everything. So, you know, technically we've evolved from really like tetrapods and bacteria and stuff like that. We also share like, you know, almost 100% DNA. Um, DNA language is the same with bacteria and humans. The language is the same. Um, but what you can see here is there's like an OG, OG, um, you know, common ancestor. Then that evolved into an ape. Then some of those apes ended up evolving into champion, chimpanzees and bonobos. But a different group of those apes ended up evolving into humans. But those same ones didn't, it didn't go common ape ancestor to chimpanzees then the chimpanzees turned into humans that's not what happened it's two separate things and it's pretty easy to understand honestly when you think about it but uh when you see like a real one these are more what you're going to see in like if you take like a college level biology class i don't even remember seeing one of these in my high school biology class which is honestly really sad and it goes to show you how how horrible um below college education is i think it's because uh, parents are the most influential and so there's a lot of pressure on school departments not to actually teach evolution because they're all creationists and they don't want to believe or teach kids evolution the reality of what evolution is and so i think the first time i've seen something like this was in my college level biology class which is a real crime against humanity it, gen it genuinely is and it's extremely disappointing because you know the colleges aren't you know super pressured by the parents right um so they don't have to deal with that bs of parents coming in going to the board and all this oh teaching kids evolution this is a real chart so you'll see you know it starts out with an og og common ancestor a group of those people move somewhere or uh, go usually they'll move somewhere and they'll have a new um environment to adapt to and so each of these different groups these evolutions happen as a result of uh, needed adaptations to survive in a new environment um and so like human life the current theory is that it all came out of africa and so when it comes to like why um why are there different skin colors for example like it's uh theorized i believe that every every human was black at one point um because the uh africa the climate is extremely sunny right it's super super sunny and the ultraviolet rays of the sun are extremely damaging um not only because you can get skin cancers and like eye diseases and stuff but um, specifically, I had seen a video in my bio class where it was basically like um, 
women couldn't get fertile uh, without having the melanated skin because there would be, I don't know if it was ultraviolet toxicity or if it was like vitamin D toxicity, but it was basically uh, making it so that there was not enough folate in the body to actually uh, be fertile and be able to have a pregnancy. And so that obviously is an evolutionary trait that you need to survive. If you can't reproduce, you're going to die off. And so, you know, black skin is something that melanated skin protects from the absorption of the sun's ultraviolet rays. That's why if you're white, right, you sunburn easily. You know, um, you ever heard that Kanye line where he says, you know, I'm too black to burn from sun rays. I think that was on Click. Very great song, by the way. He's right. It is way harder to burn from the sun if you have black skin. That's why if you are black, it's recommended you spend more time in the sun than white people because you have to spend more time to absorb the vitamin D from the sunlight. You have to be very careful about the sun because it's also very dangerous. It'll burn your eyes out and it will give you skin cancer. It will also wrinkle the fuck out of your skin. Those ultraviolet rays are very dangerous, so be careful. Wear sunscreen, cover up when you can, wear sunglasses, wear a hat, okay? Um, but that's why white people sunburn easier. But what happened, right? People from Africa moved, right? And they all moved. Their different groups moved in different directions to different places. And as they moved to different places, they had to adapt to their environments, right? And so now you go from Africa, maybe you move somewhere else. I don't know where, you know, it would move. Now it's a new environment. Now there's not as much sun. Now what do you have to do to evolve? Now you need a different skin color because that is going to help you survive. If you have melanated skin in an area where there's no sunlight, you are fucked because you're going to get rickets and, and vitamin D deficiency and your bones aren't going to be able to grow. You need vitamin D. And so then what happens? You evolve into having, um, you know, uh, white skin instead. So that's how you get the different skin colors, different groups of humans adapted to different environments. So, you know, white people's skin was developed from responding to an environment with almost no sunlight so that's what ends up happening and so that's how you can see like you know all those different skin colors come from black essentially right um different groups going to different places so uh, what you can see here is you know um you have the og and then a group of them turn into you know uh Primicians and lemurs and lorises but a separate group of the ancestor turns into anthropoids and tarsers and new world monkeys and old world monkeys but it's like um you can see that um these kinds of things don't uh necessarily evolve from uh each other right it's a separate branching off and so that's what you'll see so other examples of this kind of chart is one here again you have the og guy the og common ancestor and then you know that thing evolves into something and then this will have like a common ancestor right like um number five you know number seven number eight number nine they all share a common ancestor with number five you know technically the the crazy thing is right all of these numbers even like number 15 on this picture shares a common ancestor with everything so you could say like number 16 evolved from number one technically that's true because that's the og -est common ancestor right that's the most og common ancestor or like the og -est lineage it, it has you know um but those are some examples that you can see here. And so, you know, they all, you know, uh, branch out. This one is, I guess, not technically a branching out. But I guess technically you could say, you know, we even evolved from like tetrapods, you know, like the little lizard dudes and whatnot. Um, because, you know, we, uh, we share a common ancestor, right? We share a common ancestor of where we came from. We still came from that OG, OG ancestor, uh, that first, first being. Um, but you know, um, it's different. And so that's what, that's what they're saying. So, you know, it says humans and monkeys are both primates, but humans are not descended from monkeys or any other primate living today. We do share a common ape ancestor with chimpanzees that lived between eight and 6 million years ago. So it's not, uh, it says, but humans and chimpanzees evolved differently from that same ancestor. All apes and monkeys share a more distant relative, which lived about 25 million years ago. And so Humans didn't evolve from chimpanzees or monkeys or an ape like you're thinking of. It's some like OG ass, old ass ape ancestor that, um, that you know, uh, died off a long time ago. So, you know, technically humans right here would technically have also evolved from uh, that OG, OG ancestor that came before the common ape ancestor. So technically they've evolved from there too. Um, and so you can see that humans didn't evolve from chimpanzees or monkeys. They came from an ape ancestor that's not monkeys or chimpanzees. So, um, you know, that's, that's how, uh, we have ended up doing that. And so, you know, why are there no, uh, 
why are there still apes? The thing is, is you start to muddle the waters in terms of what you mean. So when we say ape in this ape ancestor, like I said, it's like this very, very OG, OG ape. Um, and so that ape is gone extinct. And so some groups go extinct, others don't. But, you know, like in this in this kind of a chart, uh, you know, you could have this common ancestor dies off. And, you know, if you're um, a lemur and, you know, or a, a lorisus or whatever, and you're wondering why there's still like lemurs or tarsers or whatever um different speed this is the thing it's it's all branching it's like a bush branching off those that branch has not actually is not like evolutionarily superior humans are not evolutionarily superior to any other organism that's surviving in their environment at the end of the day evolution simply is evolving to adapt to your environment and I should explain to you what the difference between evolution and natural selection is. Evolution is like the actual, you know, what I believe is random change in uh, in your genotype, you know, your genetics that end up, you know, changing something about you physically or internally. Um, that's random, but natural selection is not random. Natural selection is nature selecting for that attribute. So let's say you're in an environment where, there's a bunch of black skinned, you know, um, apes or whatever humans, um, in an area where there is no sunlight and, you know, you get that, that, uh, by chance change into white skin. And what's going to end up happening is the vast majority of the population is going to start, uh, choosing for that. So all the people with black skin are going to, they're going to die off because they're not able to, you know, survive in the environment with no sun. And then you're going to have white the white skin start to take over in that specific environment but the people still in africa they're still going to retain that and there's no evolutionary like superiority because they're both adapting to their own environments so it's all the same so those people don't die off from africa um but you know that's that's where their lineage comes from and so you'll have different groups going off and you know doing different things so this kind of this thing is completely wrong not only is this dead wrong that is not like we didn't come from monkeys or like uh, today's known apes, but even like the human um, development between like Homo habilis and all that stuff, even that like science is becoming even more muddled on like, even that's not a straight line. Even that's like stratified and straddled and stringy. And it's like, oh, it wasn't this just easy straight line. And I think this is also kind of trying to play into the hands of the intellectual design bullshit argument too about religion. It's trying to make it look like, oh, there's clearly intelligent design because look at this, it goes from dumb life to intelligent life, right? Like one of the big thing about humans is like how big the human brain is, right? Um, but again, even that's not true. Even human and a lot of these things that you see that are like you don't even you know necessarily look human like that's human like uh you know anything homo means homo mean all the homos you know homo means man in, in latin i believe i think i'm pretty sure it is um those are humans so that's you know human evolution um but you know they're not evolving from monkeys or chimpanzees they did evolve from a common ape ancestor but not an ape that you know it as today so this is a really really terrible uh picture for evolution this is like a much better example of something where it's like, oh, okay, this is actually how, um, you know, you have a real evolutionary chart. And so, you know, like here, like African apes and humans, African apes and humans didn't come from lemurs or lorises or tarsers or new world monkeys or old world monkeys. Those are all separate branched off evolutions. Uh, we came from the OG ancestor, you can see all the way back here, or we came from closest, we came to an, an ancestor with orangutans and gibbons and all that, and these guys and old world monkeys, we came from a common ancestor that continued to go out as different groups of that same species branched off. But we didn't come from old world monkeys or orangutans. Those are separate evolutions in different environments. And so why are there still apes? Like when they say, why are there still apes? There's still apes because we didn't evolve from the apes you're talking about. We didn't come from gibbons or orangutans or monkeys. Those are separate evolutions. And so they're thriving in their environments. As long as you've adapted to your environment and you're surviving, evolutionarily, there's no superiority. I mean, all of these different organisms are on the same plane evolutionarily because guess what? They're surviving and reproducing. And that's the goal of evolution. There is no like, oh, humans evolutionarily are superior. Um, whoever can just adapt stays alive and so if you understand that we didn't evolve from monkeys maybe it can help you understand that uh oh that's why monkeys or chimpanzees or gorillas still exist because we didn't evolve from that we evolved from a common ancestor ape they're gone 
Um, but the other evolutions that branched off from it, they're still alive because we didn't come from them. We didn't come from monkeys. And honestly, even if we did come from them, I don't even know if that would guarantee that they're dead or not. Like they have to go extinct or not. I'm not even sure if that has to happen. Um, but you know, if you're a bio major, you can, you can hopefully, uh, you know, clarify that to me. Like, you know, would, uh, necessarily the common ancestor of orangutans and African apes and humans have to be dead. Um, Anyways, so this is what it is. I mean, um, I was thinking I was going to even bust out the paint, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But, you know, we, we I guess we should probably try it. I wish I had this up already. My bad. My bad on that. I th Actually, no, I think I do have this up. Anyways, just think about it as like, um, you know, you have like group A. Think about it like you have group A, right? This people, group A, like humans. Let's talk about humans, right? Group A humans. We, what's accepted now is they came from Africa, right? Let's say like some group, like a, you have like a thousand, you have like a thousand of these humans in Africa. Let's say like 200 like moved, 200 moved from Africa and they go to like, I don't know, freaking, um, you know, Europe or whatever. They move somewhere else by movement. And then they, because of their new, because of their new environment, they're going to evolve into something else. Okay, they're going to evolve into some other, you know, uh, potentially species or, you know, part of the same species. And then another 200 may move somewhere else, right? And they go to, you know, whatever, um, I don't know, Asia or something like that. They move somewhere else. Technically, they've all come from the same ancestor, but it's not true that, like, the 200 that moved to Europe evolved from the 200 that moved to Asia, and then you have like another, and then there's, there's probably like 50 different branches of people different moving differently. And so it's not like group A, you go like group A, you can't even see that, can you? No, you can't. It's not like it went freaking like group A. And then it's just like group A evolved into group B and then group B evolved into group C. That's not how it works. That's not how evolution works like at all. That's completely, completely wrong. So actually what ends up happening is, and I'm going to delete that portion because I need the space, but hopefully you understand the point. It's not group A to group to B. It's a like group A to group B. And then, you know, you go here and there's another group and then they to turn into four freaking groups. And then it's like, there's no, there's no, like, it's not just linear. It's like, there's all these different. And then this one might have three, you know, species changes or whatever. And so that's evolution. It's not like, oh, it's like one singular line of just like monkey, uh, homo habilis, homo erectus. And then now we have like today's humans or whatever, homo sapiens. It's not like that. It didn't go, oh, group A to group B to group C. No, 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 no. Look at this, dude. It's this complete just craziness of and there's like 200 that moved to, I don't know, Antarctica or something like that. And they have different things now. And then you eventually get like, you know, speciation or whatever. That's how evolution works. Um, and humans did not evolve from um, apes as we know them today. We did evolve from a common ancestor, which was actually an ape. But we did not evolve from monkeys or something like that as we know it today. So hopefully that clears some stuff up about this. Um, I know that it hopefully isn't too confusing. But honestly, looking at this, you should really be able to understand. This is a really good one. It's just super basic. Um, super, super basic. But you can see like the different like stratified ways of... Uh, evolution happening with like you know it's not in a straight line um but again this is a really basic one that hopefully you can understand you know, there's an og common ancestor that evolved into a group of that you know evolved into an ape and then we evolved from that ape into humans not the apes that we know today but a common ape ancestor a different group of that common ape ancestor turned into chimpanzees and gorilla and then different one to gorillas and a different one to you know whatever and that's just, that's how evolution works. It's all branching off. And so it's not like it went OG to just common ape ancestor to monkey, then uh, gorilla, then human. That's not how it goes. It's all branches off into separate things. So hopefully you can understand this and hopefully this clears it up. I know this is a long video, uh, but I want to start doing more stuff like this. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video.